Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kristen and today I am super excited to be doing the How Well Do I Know My Books Challenge. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so this challenge was originally done by one of my favorite booktubers, Jesse the Reader, and um, he came up with this challenge. I think it's super fun. I don't know how it's gonna go because I'm not the best at challenges if you've watched one of the videos, but I am very excited to do this one. I took to Facebook and asked you guys for a numbers one, a number between one and 16, and then a number between one and 20. And the one and 16 correspond to the number bookshelf. So I started like one, two, three, four, and so on. And then the one through 20, I chose because there's about 20 books per shelf. And so that number corresponds to the book on the shelf and if i don't have a mini books on the shelf i'll just like wrap around you'll see what i mean when we're getting into it um so yeah i'm really excited i'm not going digital to come up with this stuff i mean to like read it because every time i do something goes wrong so i have printed the prompts and i have all of the numbers that you guys gave me on facebook i have all of those written down and this is just to find out how well i know my books so um let's let's do it let's see how it goes okay so without looking at the description tell us what the book is about so this is 13 and 8 my husband's gonna get a kick out of this so without without looking at the description tell what this book is about and this is miss born by brandon sanderson and this book is about um people that are called the miss born because they are able to manipulate um a different like metal um kind of and it gives them kind of i would say mystical type of powers and they're called the Mistborn because um, they go, they're able to go out in the mist, and which is what comes over the um, the kingdom area world <laughs> at night, and um, and they are, I I don't know, I'm I'm like totally blanking because this book was so long, but um, this girl is, um, she is a very rare Mistborn and she um, is kind of taken in by this band of other um, of other people who can manipulate the metals. I think the Mistborn though, I think those are the only ones that like can manipulate all of them, maybe. I don't, can't believe I'm blanking on like specifics on this one. But um, my husband's gonna kill me because he wants me to finish reading the series and I can't even remember all but yes, that is the gist of it. Um, adult fantasy, that's kind of about what it's about. She is taken in by this other band and they try to, t they want to take over the um, ruler of the area or kingdom or whatever they call it in this book and using their powers to do that. So Miss Boy. <laughs> Next is, without looking it up, what is the genre of this book? So two and 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, going back around and it is Where Dreams Descend by Janela Angelis. Um, I am gonna, I know this is a YA. Um, I don't think that I would really, I'm just gonna say YA fantasy. Um, this book, yeah, I would say this is YA fantasy. There is magic, but not in like the sense you would think, I guess. Um, and I wouldn't say that is like um, modern, like um, like a modern fantasy. I would just say it's straight up YA fantasy. Yes. Without looking at the book, tell us what is on the cover. 13 and 17, so I already did 13. Um, and 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it is Champion by Marie Lu, and it has a logo on the front. Is it like some kind of bird logo? Like it's, 
I it's like a goldish goldish logo. Is that one gold or is that one silver? It's a logo and I want to say it looks like a bird type of thing. Um <laughs> Oh, I was so off. <laughs> It is a rose and it is red. <laughs> okay. Prodigy, which is the next book in the series, is it has a bird on it. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of credit for that because I have not read this book. Um, it is on my list. So like Prodigy, this is the last one in the series. So Prodigy is the one before it and it is on my TBR, in my TBR pile right now. So that is why. But it... Unfortunately, I was wrong. It has a rose and it is red. Dang. All right, next, without looking it up, what is the main character's name? Five and 19. One, two, three, four, five, 19. One, two, three, four, five. 18, 19. Oh. Witchy by Ariel. What was it? Ariel Slam It Rise, Slam It Rise. I have no clue. Um, I read this book and I didn't like it, and so it's. I can't remember. It's weird. It's not a normal name. That much I can tell you. It's definitely a weird name. It's not a regular name. I don't know it. I don't know it. Um. Look, y'all, I can't even find, like, her name, because I don't know. Um, y'all, like, no one's, like, saying her name in here. Like, Neve, or Nev, N-E-V, N-E-V, yeah, no. Nope, didn't want to know that. <laughs> okay, the next numbers are one, thir one and 13. Without looking, name a side character. 1 and 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, oh, oh. I got an easy one. I got an easy one. Um, I mean, I, side character, I guess, would be Hodor. Um, I'd say he's a side ca character and, like, not a, um, not like a, you know. I don't think, I don't know if Brian Tarth is in this one. Um, am I kind of cheating because I watched the show and I'm very into it? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I feel like this was an easy one. So, yay for me getting one. Yes, I could probably name a bunch of side characters in this one. Um, depends on who you would choose that would be a side character. Because... Um, to me, this is one of those books where so many of the characters are main characters because they have their own storylines. <laughs> Next numbers are two and seven. Um, guess how many pages the book has without looking. If you guess 25 below or 25 above the number, you can count it as a win. So two and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Marie Lou, Rose Society. I'm going to say, like, around the 350 range. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going I'm to go with, like, 350. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Y'all, I was, like, off. There are 395. I was kind of close. Um, I should have went with 400. But the Rose Society... Yes, I have not read this one either, but I did not get that right. Um, said 350, and there was almost 400 pages. Guys. Okay, next, 7 and 18. Um, without looking it up, what rating did you give this book? If you land on a book you haven't read, pick a new set of numbers. So 7 and 18, what rating did I give this book? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 
at all, period. No, don't need to do it. Duh, five stars. Um, for sure, don't even need to check. Um, if I didn't give this one five stars, then like I meant to give it five stars. Like there's no way in the world that I did not give this one five stars. For sure, lucked out, easy peasy. The next numbers are 14 and 13. Um, without looking, where does this book take place? 14 and 13. So where does this book take place? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> um, imposters, I have absolutely no clue because I have not read it yet. No clue. Should I should I like go with another set of numbers? It doesn't say to go with another set of numbers if you have not read it. Okay. Um, it is set in the futuristic world of Westerfield's Ugly's Books. Um, so it doesn't say like exactly. Um, it just says it is in the future and in the same realm as the Ugly's Books. Um, which I used to have, but I have not read. Next, numbers are 6 and 17. Without looking, what are the parents' names? So so six and seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventeen. What are the parents' names? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Six and seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Um, this is a um book from like a uh like based on like a video game, I think. And so I have not read it. So I have absolutely no clue if there are even parents in this book. I would assume that there is not. Um, I have absolutely no clue because I haven't read it. It is my husband's. I don't know. Don't know. Sad story. Another one that I can't say I know. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should have done like a disclaimer. Like I shared this bookshelf with my husband and his books, but we like have the same books now, like our books and we like read them like he reads some of mine, I read some of his, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't wanna like do that and make excuses for myself. But now that I'm sucking at this a little bit, I'm thinking maybe I should have made that disclaimer. I don't know, I don't know. Next one, we'll see how it goes. Four and 16, four and 16. Um, Without looking at the hardback, what color is the book under the dust jacket? So I guess if this isn't a hardback, I will just go to the next hardback on this bookshelf because I think that'll be easier than picking a whole nother number. Um, so what is the color of the book under the under the jacket? So four and 16, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, and I just read this one and like, I'm trying not to look I and mean, I just read this one and I take the heart I take the covers off um, when I'm reading them because of um, it's just easier to take them around and I want to say it's purple and I want to say it has gold lettering because I mean the the sprayed edges are gold and now that I kind of turned it this way I can see that I was right about the purple at least um, because I did see it when I turned it that way but um, oh it has like silver lettering but it is purple, so I got it right. I just got finished reading this one not that long ago. So yeah, that one wasn't too hard. Yay, I got one. All right, the next numbers are 12 and three. 12 and three. Without looking, is there anything on the hardback, like an imprint or an image of some sort? Is there anything on the hardback, like an imprint or an image of some sort? And what I say, 12 and three? Okay, so with that one is 13, then this one is 12. And one, two, three, that's not a hardback. I'm gonna go to the next one that is a hardback. And that is um, Finale by um, Stephanie Garber. Finale has, Finale is all about legend and Jack of Hearts, and I'm gonna say, if it has anything on the cover, it's gonna be a heart like this. Um, that's what I'm gonna say. I can't say for sure. But if there's something on it, it's gonna be a heart or a hat. But I'm gonna go with a heart and not a top hat. 
Um, I think that there, I think there is something. But I don't know for sure. Ooh, there is, and it's not anything I thought it was. Gum. You know what? I should like it's like the the symbol for the for the coronation of okay. Okay, I should have guessed. Uh it's what is on the invitation to um the coronation and the um I guess like the what is supposed to be the last like um carval nights um or car carval game. So Next numbers are 4 and 12. 4 and 12. Without looking, without taking the dust jacket off, what is the cover, what is the color of the font on the hardback? These are really hard questions. Like, who pays attention to this stuff? Without, without taking the dust jacket off, what is the color on the, of the front of, what is the color of the font? On the hardback, so four and what did, what did I say? One, two, three, four, and twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's not a hardback. The next one is the circle. Oh, I'm sorry, Jenny. Jenny's falling off of her broom, y'all. Jenny. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is the color of the font I'm gonna go with silver because there's silver on the cover silver 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 the font is silver <laughs> this circle wow this is a really pretty like hardback book I mean it just is all right, the next numbers are 14 and 18. Um, what, without looking, do the chapters have titles or do they just, are, are they just numbered? Do they have titles or are they numbered? 14 and 18, if that's 16, this is 14, 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18. What? <laughs> this is um through the eyes of a lion um and i am pretty i am pretty positive that i can say that this one does have titles um because i'm pretty sure each chapter is titled after like something some point that he's trying to get across in this book or titled after like what was going on in his life at that point in the book yes so they are, they do have titles, like number four is Turn Off the Dark. Um, this one, Homesickness and Ache You Can't Shake. So yes, they do have titles. Go me. Next, three and 13. Three and 13. Um, without looking at the book cover, does it have an award on it? Without looking on the book cover, does it have an award on it? Three and 13, three, 13, one, two. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh, shoot. I was going to be like, no way. Is this the first one? It is the first one. Shoot. I was ready to be like, oh, I know this. I'm going to say it does. I'm going to say it does have some, like, children's book award on the front of it. Oh, Okay. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, I could have sworn, like, how these are so popular. I'm really shocked that they don't have some kind of, like, children's award on them. Dang it. I was, like, full-on ready to be like, I know this one. This is easy. <laughs> Next is 10 and 16. 10 and 16. Without looking, does this book have any author blurbs on the front cover? And 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. It is where the mountain meets the moon. 
and I'm gonna go with no because it is an older printed book. I'm gonna say there's none on the front cover of, of Where the Mountain Meets the Moon and I am right. There are none on Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. They're just on the back, none on the front. Yes, pretty cool, pretty good. This is such like a pristine like looking book because I have not read it yet and it has been on my list for like forever. It's just beautiful. It's like not even like broke, like it hasn't barely been touched. Next, eight and 17, eight and 17. Without looking, does this book, does the book have a description on the back? Without looking, does the book have a description on the back? Eight and 17, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 17, one, two, three, four, five, 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 have um a description on the back hatchet hatchet does it have a description on the back yes it does 13 year old brian ba -da -da. hatchet yes all right next three and seven three and seven without looking does this book have an author photo does this book have an author photo one two three four five six seven tough everlasting no no, it doesn't. I, I can, I am pretty positive it does not have an author photo. Because it is like a mass paperback. Is that cheating that like, you know? Mm, just double checking everywhere. There is no author photo in Tuck Everlasting. This, whatever this version is, it is not on this vid version. Next, two and 16, without looking. It up, is the author using a pen name? Without looking up, is the author using a pen name? Three and seven, no, that was two and 16, sorry. Two and 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brandon Sanderson, star sight. I am gonna say that I am pretty positive Brandon Sanderson doesn't have, that's not a pen name? No, Brandon Sanderson is not a pen name. No, it's not, no, he's not, no. Let me look it up now to make sure I was right. I don't want to like say it and then like be wrong. But my official answer without looking it up is no. It is not. He, it is not a pen name. Huh. Brandon Sanderson is not a pen name. Brandon Sanderson says you should never use a pen name unless your name is already the same as a famous writer. Or you're writing about stuff that you don't want others to know about. Or others to know. Wait, what does it say? It's not loading fast enough. <laughs> Or if you're writing about stuff that you don't want associated with your real name. So Brandon Sanderson is not a pen name. I was pretty positive about that one. So I was correct. Next is four and 19. Four and 19, um, without peeking, what POV is this book written in? First or third? Which point of view, first or third without looking? Um, four and 19, 19, one, two, three, four. Grace, not perfection, is written in third person. Wait. Yes, third person? It's written in first person. I don't know why I thought it would be third person because I guess it would be written in first person because it's talking to you from the author. Um, so yeah, that was a dumb, I should not have gotten that wrong. Um, I should definitely not have gotten that wrong. But yes, um, Grace Not Perfection is first person, not third person. Wah, wah. Next is one and 14. Um, without looking, are there any pictures or graphics in this book? One and 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 14. Maleficent. I'm gonna say that there are graphics in this one. Um, I'm not, I don't think there are many in this one, but I think there are a few graphics in this actual book, even if that just includes like a map or something. I think there are some graphics in Maleficent. Oh, y'all. Really? You let me down. You let me down, Maleficent. There are no graphics, not even a map in this book. What? What? 
No, it's been a hot minute since I've read this one too. Dang. Nope, no graphics, unless you want to count like little embellishments, which is not a graphic. So this one does not have any graphics in it. I would have assumed so because of like the type of book it is. Like it's a fairy tale. I would have assumed there would have been some graphics in this one. I don't remember because it has been a while since I've actually like opened it. Next, I have, and in case you guys are wondering, I don't think I came back to this. Like, if I don't have that many on the shelf, I'm just, like, continuing to count over here. So, that's why I got to 14 over here, because I only have 13 on this shelf. And so, I went back to the beginning, just so you guys know. Next is 7 and 13. Without looking, does it have an epilogue? 7 and 13 doesn't have an epilogue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 13. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Does it have an epilogue? The Odd Sisters. I'm going to be mad at myself. The Odd Sisters, I think, does. I know some of hers do, but I don't know if all of them do. If I had to guess, and I'm trying to think back, I want to say that there is, because I think in like some of hers... Like the epilogue is like from a character that like might not have been the like focal point of the book or it's like a lead off to something that's happening in the next book. So I'm going to say there's an epilogue in this one. I'm going to say that there is. Oh, there is not an epilogue in this one. There's just the last chapter. There's not an epilogue in this one, but I think that there are epilogues in her other ones, and that is why that has confused me. Next is eight and nine. Eight and nine, without looking, does this book have a prologue? So if that was seven, this is eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, the Twits, no, does not have a prologue. Oh. Santa just fell off the shelf. Does it have a prologue? No, it does not. The Twits does not have a prologue. And you will notice, I do have a lot of Roald Dahl. Um, I do have a lot of, like, young, like, um, kids chapter books on my shelf because I love them. They are near and dear to my heart. I am a teacher also, so that would be one reason why I read a lot of them. I want to be able to give really good recommendations. So that is why you see some sprinkled in there lots of Roald Dahl because he's one of my favorite children's authors so yes um Twits does not have a prologue next I have 6 and 19 without looking is this book signed 6 and 19 this should be an easy one Okay, what does it say? <laughs> I forgot. Without looking, is this book signed? The um, Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. No, it is not signed. This one is not signed. Nope, I'm pretty sure I know like all of my books that are actually signed. And this one is not signed. All right, next we have 13 and 19. Without looking, do the page numbers have a design above or below them or none at all? 13 and 19. Okay. That is Anne of Ingleside. Anne of Ingleside. Um, do the page numbers have a design? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, they do not. This is an older book, so I'm going to go with no, they do not. Nope, they don't. Nope, they sure don't. Just regular, regular numbers. All right, the next are four and 20. Four and 20, without looking, do the chapter headers have designs on them? One, two, three, four, and 20. Another old one, um, Wuthering Heights, gonna say no, that the chapters don't have anything on them either because it's like a mass paperback and like pretty plain Jane and the 
chapters are like in between the like this is one where the chapters like they just keep the pages just keep going it's like we're not wasting paper like if the chapter starts in the middle of the page then the chapter starts in the middle of the page so yes there's nothing there because they weren't wasting any page space on this book y'all all right we are nearing the end we are nearing the end only a few more to go the next one is four and no, we just did that one. Oy, 12 and 19. Without looking, are the acknowledgments in the front or the back of the book? It's in the front or the back of the book. Um, 12 and 19. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 19. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Hmm, the back of the book? Are there acknowledgments in this book at all? I don't know, but I'm gonna go with in the back of the book or where the acknowledgments are. There's the blur about JK Rowling. Nope. Okay, let's see if they're in the front of the book. Are there any acknowledgments at all? There is, yeah, there's a, like, little blurb for somebody, but there's not, like, a page that talks about, like, all the acknowledgments. It's just, like, the dedication. So, I'm going to go with I got that wrong, and they're in the front because it's where the dedication is, and that's the only acknowledgments that are in the book. Next um, is four and seven. Four and seven. Without looking, what year was this book published? Oh, I'm going to get this one wrong, guys. Four and seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, wait. I might not get this one wrong. It was in 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. I'm telling you, this one was 2020. Let me make sure. Copyright 2020. Yay, I got off easy on that one because it is a new book and I already knew it was a new book. I love it. I love when these came on and it sounds like I know a whole lot about my books. Yay. And we have made it to the last prompt, guys. The last one. Without looking, what year did you read this book? Um, and this is 14 and 17. Without looking, what year did you read this book? 14 and 17. Maybe I'll get off easy again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It came out to Eat, Pray, Love. I have not read that one yet. So I'm going to choose um, another, the next number. And that would be 7 and 11. 7 and 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Hey, The Lightning Thief, like, I just read this one in 2020. Um, because I just read this one. I'm going to go with that. I know I read it before, but I couldn't even begin to tell you. I might would say 2000... Did I read this in high school? I would say if I, I said, I would say 2007, if I had to, like 2006, 2007, if I had to guess um, when I read this first, but I know 100%, I am sure that I read this in 2020 because I just did reread re this one. So I'm going to go with that. Um, before, I'm going to say that it was probably like 2006, 2007 range when I was in high school. Um, and right up pretty soon after it came out, I would say I didn't pick it up like when it was fresh, but I would say that it was probably in high school and I didn't record those way back then. So I have no way of like being 100% sure that that's when I read it, but I can tell you that I did read it this year. So yeah, that was the challenge guys. I thought that was a lot of fun. I knew a little bit more than I thought I did. Some of those questions are kind of crazy. Like who like even thinks to like remember that stuff, especially a person who has like a terrible, terrible memory. 
like I do, but I thought this was a lot of fun. I love it. Thank you guys to everybody on Facebook who commented um, numbers for me. I do appreciate you guys so much. I don't haven't gotten a huge following yet, but um, that made me feel really good. And I hope that because you did help out with this video that you stuck in and that you watched this video with me. And um, thank you for all of those of you that did. And yes, I am going to go to bed now because it is late and it's been a long day. So I will catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.